Let's talk about some of the obscure tips you need to know in assemblies in Fusion 360. How can I quickly create an assembly so I can maybe practice with joints and putting stuff together? One of the fastest ways to just grab existing components is to come up to insert, use McMaster car. I love this one for joints, fasteners, things like that. I can also search for some, there's some really cool assemblies in here. I'm going to grab a toggle clamp. I'll select from the menu, scroll down, find the size that I have in mind, and then I can download that file into Fusion 360. So I come in, find the, this larger size that I want, click it, choose step file, hit download. It'll bring this right into Fusion 360. Is there a way to get this aligned correctly? So one challenge is sometimes you can move copy and get it where you want it to go, but this can be tedious. Sometimes it comes in really in strange positions. And so what I'll do is use the align command, do S for search, align, and then I can select maybe like, for example, this face and the origin has the top plane. I'll select the top plane. It's doing the opposite of what I wanted. I'll hit flip, hit okay, and now I'm in a good position. Sometimes when I drag stuff, it just does not behave like I expect. So like in this assembly, um, when I look at it, the whole thing moves around, but it's acting like one fixed component. And if I look, it's one component with a bunch of bodies. So that is, is actually how Fusion views this, is it's one fused together component, really. So what we need to do is create these into components. So just select all of them within the browser, right click, choose Create Components, and you now have all of these subcomponents that belong to this upper level assembly. So what should I do first? First thing you wanna do, you've talked about in some recent videos, is you wanna make sure that something is either grounded or rigid connected to the top level node. So I'm going to do that now. I'll say that this base component is an as-built joint. Select the component, go to the top node, make sure it's rigid, hit OK, and now that's locked in space. So when I drag things around, sometimes I do that and then I'll undo it. But it's worth noting that our undo menu has the ability to look back and see all the steps you've done, along with even the redo has the full menu of what you can redo. I love using this undo too far, and I can make sure that I'm only going as far back as I meant to. I don't wanna undo that joint I just added or this component creation, so this looks good. Now that we wanna start adding some joints, I'm gonna use the add built because everything is designed in place where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to select first this pen going to this uh, bracket piece and I want to make sure the revolute spinning about this axis. Hit OK. But some of this stuff is in the way. So I can hit V for visibility and it'll start hiding everything. I can even window select and hit V for visibility. It'll hide it. And now I can start adding the right joints. Now this little kind of cover is already in the right spot. So I'm going to make sure that it's rigidly connected to this one. Is there a way to show components you've hidden and bring them back quickly? So come up to the top level here, right click, choose show all components. And sometimes you need to also do show all bodies. And now you can see everything that was hidden in the menu. Next, let's right click, do an as built joint. I'm going to make sure these two are connected to each other rigidly. And then I like to just drag things to see what's missing. Hit undo, do that again. And so I'm going to do that as built joint from here to here. This is a Revolute around this axis, hit OK. As built joint from here to this lower bracket around this axis, that looks good, hit OK. Let's drag it and see. Now these pins are just kind of showing more for aesthetics, so we can hide these briefly or we can rigidly connect those to the other components, that would also work. So I want to rigidly connect this component to these. So let's right click, do an as built joint and go from these two and this is rigid. Is there a way to quickly select something and figure out what joints are applied? Yes, so select the component you care about. Sometimes you get lost trying to keep track of all the joints. Click it, find it in the tree, right click on the component, choose select referencing joints and that should wake up your joints and so this there's one got you with this. Sometimes it doesn't always wake up the folder. If I come turn on the folder and then do it again, it will tell me 
the joints that it does have. And so it's telling me this is the rigid. Also, if you're on your joints menu, you can right click and choose select components. It'll tell you what was selected. So that's also helpful. If you right click on something and it does not have any joints yet, it will not have that option of select reference joints. I want to apply all these rigid joints quickly. Yes. So I could come in and do an as built rigid for all of them and just click through or there's actually a, a better way you can do what's called a rigid group. So just come in, select all the affected components hit OK. And now this is going to behave as one rigidly connected joint, like fused together. Is there a way to simulate this motion? Yeah, so this is actually a motion study. So if you come up to a symbol, choose motion study, and we're going to just do a simple one here, but this is kind of tricky. What you do is select one of the joints you want to move. So I want to spin this joint here, and then it wakes up a curve. Anywhere on the curve, maybe, you know, midway through, this is kind of arbitrary, select a point, and then you can select or change the value. So I'm going to go up to a big value. Let's try like 150. 15 degrees. And now if we hit play, that looks okay to me. So I'm going to also do the reverse so that it plays it back and forth. Hit play. It should go back and forth. We can adjust the speed down below. Cool. That looks pretty good. That's what I was hoping for. And this is a way we can simulate that. Hey, I know assemblies can be tricky. That's why I created a cheat sheet for Fusion 360 assemblies. That's at my website. I'll link that down below. It's free. Go grab that. Click the link below. I'll see you guys in the next video.